This is a follow-up to a recent video in which I used my MT32 Pi as a sound module for MIDI kalimba. It worked really well. It powers the MIDI controller and handles the program change messages, and between MT32 and General MIDI has loads of usable sounds. I said that I was going to design a suitable hat for a Pi Zero, and here it is. This hat has everything that's needed and nothing more. It has the four buttons which my regular MT32 Pi hat doesn't. It doesn't have the MIDI circuitry, so this is limited to MIDI over USB, which is what we need here. It does have the DAC for great quality sound, and the screen so you can see what you're doing. The Pi Zero only has a micro USB socket for USB in, so you need some kind of OTG adapter. One like this, rather than one like this, because the micro USB for power is too close. Now that I have the buttons, I'm able to toggle between MT32 and General MIDI, which I was having to do via the config file before. When in General MIDI mode, the other button switches between any sound fonts that you have installed on your card. The other two buttons are volume up and volume down. Not ideal as it turns out, you have to hit the button so many times to travel the whole range, and you can't hold to make it go faster. Maybe that's a future enhancement for the MT32 Pi software. The software requires a Pi Zero 2W, but I just bought this one for less than £15, so for what it is, that's still amazing. As a bonus, I've just tried something that I haven't really given much thought to up until now, and that's plugging Ether into this module. As you can hear, it's working beautifully. I'm so pleased that the MT32 Pi software supports RPN0, or pitch bend sensitivity, so that the range control works. It also responds to expression, so the left hand control works as it should. I've had to make a couple of tweaks. I needed to use the configurator to limit the stream of MIDI messages before this Pi coped. Also, Ether wasn't sending a program message, so rather than be stuck with a piano sound, I've bodged into the firmware a program change for MT32's square wave sound. I'm going to add this feature to Ether's configurator. You'll be able to select the program number that you want to send on startup. 